the sixth part of identities. The first five parts of this lesson are uploaded. Do watch. Okay. Come to third question in page number 84. Look at this pattern. You have a pattern 1 square plus 4 into 2, 3 square. 2 square plus 4 into 3, 4 square, etc. Now by looking at this pattern, we can very easily write 4 square plus 4 into 5 is equal to 6 square. Also the next line 4 square, so the next line 5 square plus 4 into 6 is equal to 7 square. Now let us look at the algebra behind it. Look at the numbers children. 1 square plus 4 into 2 gives you 3 square. That is you have 1, here you have 2 and in the answer you have 3. Similarly you have 2, 3, 4. 3, 4, 5. From this what did you understand? You have a relation connecting these three numbers. That is the first number and here the second number and the answer. Now, the three numbers are consecutive numbers. You take any one of these lines, you will understand the numbers here. 2, 3 and 4. They are consecutive natural numbers. Using algebra, we can write the numbers as the first number we can take as x. The second number is x plus 1. And here the third number is x plus 2. Isn't it? So let us write the first number as x square plus 4 into the second number. The second number is x plus 1 is equal to third number. The third number is x plus 2 the whole square. Now let us expand and see. Here x square plus 4 multiplied with x plus 1. What do you get? 4 into x. 4x plus 4 into 1 is equal to 4. Now this is equal to x plus 2 the whole square. What did you understand children? a plus b the whole square equals a square. That is x square. You got it here. Plus 2 times a into b that is 2 into x into 2 gives you 4x. The last number 2 square which is equal to 4. So we have explained using algebra x plus 2 the whole square is equal to x square plus 4x plus 4. Look at the fourth question children. Explain using algebra the fact that the square of any natural number which is not a multiple of 3 leaves remainder 1 on division by 3. A number which is a multiple of 3 can be written as 3x. For example, 6 can be written as 3 into 2. 9 is a multiple of 3 which is written as 3 into 3. Isn't it? So you should know the general form of a multiple of 3 and the general form of a number which is not a multiple of 3. Okay, so a multiple of 3 multiple of 3 can be written as 3x. Do you understand? A number which is not a multiple of 3 will have 1 as reminder and also 2 as reminder, isn't it? So we can write a number which is not a which is not a multiple of 3 can be written as 3x plus 1 because 1 is the reminder. Similarly, we can write it as 3x plus 2. If a number is not divisible by 3, it will have 1 as a reminder or 2 as a reminder. Is it clear? Now come to the question. Explain using algebra the fact that 
square of any natural number which is not a multiple of 3 leaves remainder 1 on division by 3. Let us find the square of this number. So we get 3x plus 1 the whole square. What is this? It is the square of a number which is not a multiple of 3. So we can expand this using a plus b whole square. a plus b whole square gives you a square. That is 3x the whole square plus 2ab. 2 into 3x into 1. 2 into 3x into 1 plus last number 1 square which is equal to 9x square plus 6x plus 1. So if you divide by 3 what happens children? If you divide by 3 this number is completely divisible. 6x is also completely divisible. But 1 cannot be divided by 3 so you get 1 as the remainder. Also, let us look at 3x plus 2 the whole square. So, we can write 3x plus 2 the whole square as 3x the whole square plus 2 into 3x into 2 plus 2 square. Now, what do you get? This is equal to 9x square plus 12x plus 2 square is 4. If you divide 9x square by 3, it is completely divisible. If you divide 12x by 3, this is also completely divisible. But if you divide 4 by 3, what do you get? You get 4 divided by 3 gives you 1 as the remainder. So this is what we have to prove. We have proved a number which is not a multiple of 3 leaves remainder 1 on division by 3. Look at the last question. Prove that for any natural number ending in 3, its square ends in 9. What about numbers ending in 5 and numbers ending in 4? It is considered the case of a 2 digit number. General form of a two digit number is 10m plus n. If a number ends in 3, we can write it as 10m plus 3 the whole square. Is it clear? Let me expand it using our identity a plus b the whole square. So you get a square that is 10m the whole square plus 2ab that is 2 into 10m into 3 plus last number 3 square. Is it clear children? This is equal to 100m square plus 2 into 3. So you get 60m plus 3 square value is equal to 9. If you add all these numbers, it will always end in 9. Let me give you an example. If you take 23 square we can write it as 20 plus 3 the whole square. So what do you get now? 20 square. You get 400 plus 2 into 20 into 3 gives you 120 plus 3 square value is equal to 9. If you add all this you are getting 529. So for numbers ending in 3 its square will always end in 9. Let us consider the case of numbers ending in 5. A number ending in 5 can be written as 10m plus 5 the whole square. Its expansion, this is equal to 100m square plus 2 into 5 into 10. You get 100m plus 5 square which is equal to 25. Let us take an example. Let us take 45 square. We can write it as 40 plus 5 the whole square. What do you get now? M square value that is 4 square is equal to 16. So you get 1600 plus 2 into 5, 10. 
10 into 40 gives you 400 plus 5 square value 25. So your answer is going to be 2025. It will always ends with 25. If a number ends in 5, its square ends with 25. The last one, number ending in 4. So if a number ends in 4, we can write the general form of a two-digit number ending in 4 as 10m plus 4 the whole square. So you get the answer as 100m square plus 2 into 4, 8. 8 into 10, 80m plus 16. Take an example. Let us consider a number ending in 4. That is 14 square. So what is the first number? We can write 14 square as 10 square which is equal to 100 plus 2 into 4 into 10. So you get 8 into 10, 80 plus 4 square value 16. So if you add all these numbers you will get 196. So if a number ends in 4, its square always ends in 6. This exercise is over children. Carry your doubts in the comment box. Thank you.